Hello, welcome to the Binge List. I'm your host, Paul Chapel, and I don't know whether you heard about this. There's a little indie film that came out a couple days ago. What was the name of that film? Oh, that's right. It's called Avengers Endgame. Um, so, yeah, it was okay. Uh, not really my cup cup of tea, but, uh, oh, <laughs> who am I kidding? This movie is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Go. If you haven't seen it already, go right now. What are you doing? Get out of bed. Stop mowing the grass. Stop making breakfast. Whatever you're doing right now, stop eating lunch. I don't know what, uh, oh my God, this movie was so freaking awesome. I, I don't even know where to begin, people. I mean, it's just, you should put this movie on your bucket list. It's that good. I'm trying to think of another franchise that I have seen that even comes close. Return the Jedi blew it away. Harry Potter blew it away. Lord of the Rings blew it away. I mean, there is no franchise. Every other franchise Looks like a slow ride to grandma's house compared to Avengers Infinity Game or Endgame. <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting, I'm so discombobulated right now. I can't even. Uh. Anyway, so, uh, okay, let me, let me calm down a little bit. L let me clear up some, uh, one misconception about this movie right off the bat. This movie is not three hours long. I don't know where that came from. Uh, me and my wife went to see it last night at 11.30. And of course, there's like 20 minutes of previews. Not as many previews as I thought, but it but it was at least uh, 15 minutes. So, And we left the theater, I think it was around uh, uh, 2.30 in the morning. So... And there's no way it was three hours, but uh, if it had been three hours, believe me, I would have stayed for every second of this movie. I, it's one of those movies you do not want, want to end. <sighs> the, the, okay, so let me be a little bit more critical. One thing I will say about it is that <sighs> it was a little slow in the beginning, you're you're pretty much dealing with a with a movie where people have survived something traumatic and everybody has to process it, and you you're pretty much going to all these characters. Remember, there's a lot of Avengers, and they have to go through every character and show you how each one of them have dealt with uh, half of the population being wiped out how they're all processing their failure. Some of them are, are doing okay, and some of them are doing really, really awful. Uh, there was a lot of character arcs that I did not see coming. I, I couldn't believe, uh, and I'm not gonna spoil anything for y'all, but I couldn't believe that they actually found another character arc for, for Thor. Uh, of course, they found one for all the major characters. I, I, but I was really impressed with Thor's and Captain America's, of course. Every every arc has felt earned. It felt like they've been setting. If you look at all, if you've seen all the movies in the MCU, it seemed like they've been setting this up forever. And I couldn't believe that they they just came about it in such a satisfying way. And I, I didn't feel like they cheated. I mean, if anything, they 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 made you work for every everything that the, the heroes accomplished in this movie. You felt like they worked for. There was no easy way out. There was no pandering to the audience. I mean, there was some pandering to the audience, but it was kind of the epic type of pandering. I mean. I started counting off all the epic moments in this movie on my fingers, and I, and I ran out of fingers. There's probably 
Oh, God. I would say there's roughly 30 epic moments. I mean, just very epic. If you remember Infinity War, there's there's a few uh, that I, I can mention. There, there was a, probably the first epic moment I, that I can remember from that film was Thanos kicking Hulk's ass. And then, there, of course, there was... A, Spider-Man getting his iron, the iron spider suit. I mean, there was a lot of nice little just nuggets in that film. There was a Captain America returning. There was Thor returning with Stormbreaker. There was a lot of great moments in Infinity War, and it was nothing compared to Endgame. I mean, it was... I could not believe that they actually, you remember the, the final fight scene from Infinity War, they topped that like four times over. And, 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 and I'm glad to say, if you're a white supremacist, you are going to hate this movie. There were so many epic moments for minority characters. There were so many epic moments for a female character, especially female. There, there's one... There's one shot in this movie. Every feminist on this planet is going to be just, they're going to be replaying this scene. I, I, I can't, I'm, I'm about to spoil something, man. <laughs> you just have to go see it. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. And, uh, so I'm a critic, though. I have to get back to the to the, to the, the critical parts. Um, there was some. If there was anything that I, I have to complain about this movie, there was some predictability. If you watch some of my other videos, you know that uh, you know. Based on what I saw in the trailer, they revealed a lot of things. In fact, it got to the point they kept releasing clips, and I stopped watching. I, I, I watched the teaser trailer. I watched the second tra teaser trailer. Um, I watched the, the first big clip they, they had with, you probably, you know, if you haven't seen this, I don't think I'm spoiling anything because everybody knows it's going to happen. There, there was a clip they released online with Captain Marvel returning. But I stopped watching after that clip, and I, I it got to the point where I was thinking they're 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 showing way too much, and I I don't even know what they showed after, but I know there was some. I think there was like a five minute clip that they they released online, and I, I didn't watch it. But you don't want to, you don't want any of this movie spoiled for you. I'm shocked that none of it was spoiled for me. I mean, there there, there was absolutely nothing spoiled for me. Although, like I have, have, and like I said, there are some predictable moments. If you watch the trailers, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I, I think I everything I predicted uh, when I when, when I did my trailer reviews, just about all of it happened. I'm trying to think of something that I predicted that didn't happen, and I can't think of one. Um, so that was. I mean, I wouldn't say it was disappointing. I mean, based on what they released, because they didn't release much. That, that the teasers they released were were uh, that first teaser trailer really. I was disappointed. I think I said that in my review that I was disappointed. Um, as hard as they were trying not to reveal anything, but. Uh, I, you were still able to make uh, make some some bold predictions just based on that horrible teaser. So anyway, I'm not going to complain about anything. It was all gr good. In hindsight, even the the parts I thought were a little bit boring were great. They even resolved some of the problems that a lot of people had with some of the other uh, um, standalone films. I think. Um, they had some moments with the characters just coming to terms with P 
people in their lives, people that they 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 love. Um, and I won't say more than that. I, I, I'm really having a hard time with this, folks. Trying trying to keep it together. Uh, I just want to I just want to jump at the camera and just tell you every epic thing. And I'm not going to do that today. I actually, uh, me and Kirk should be reviewing this. The the crazy thing about this is that when I started this channel, I did a show called Kurt and Paul Discuss with my co-host, Curtis Hood. You've seen him if you've watched this channel at any length. Um, but uh, our first show was Infinity War. You can't even I, I, I you can't even see that show on my channel anymore because I deleted it. I still have a copy of it. Don't get me wrong, but it was the first show. It was an hour and thirty minutes long. It was way too long. It was almost longer than the movie itself, <laughs> and the lighting was terrible because I, I I was using some new software I had never used before, and I was just kind of rushing to get this thing done, and. Uh, I just got a lot of things wrong with that first show. Compared to to some of the other things I, did, I, I I've done in my career, it looked very amateurish, and I just I just I couldn't leave it up. So, but but do know that that was our first movie together, and it, it holds a special place in my heart. And when I when I was trying to figure out who to to review the movie with it had to be I had to to get Curtis to come back. So he's gonna come back tomorrow. We're doing Game of Thrones. Uh season eight, episode three. We'll be doing that together tomorrow. Uh we're doing a, the recap and review that we've been doing. So we will also do in uh in game at that time. So if if you want a spoiler uh if you want a spoiler lading review, it's coming. But I would recommend that you watch the movie first. Because we're going to spoil the heck out of this movie. I tell you not right now, let's look into my notes. We are going to... I'm going to talk about every epic moment that occurred in this film. So you do not want to watch the review we're going to do tomorrow if you, if you don't want this movie ruined for you. I mean... In fact, I would go see it right now, so specifically so it is not ruined for you. So that's I'll just leave it at that. Go see this movie right now. Gets two big thumbs up. Uh, I would give it, if I could raise my, my foot that high, both of my feet, I would give it two thumbs up and two, two big toes. I mean, that's just how great it is. Go see it right now. And I'd like to thank my subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And um, thanks for watching. And I will see you when I see you.